Coming up on Bulldog Broadcast, Kyla gives her opinion on the whitewashing in the movie industry. And then Melissa and Stephanie show the school a new game. After that, we throw things over to Brie for one more look at sports for this year. Today is May 5th, 2016, and Bulldog Broadcast starts now. Good afternoon, Bulldogs, and welcome to this unified edition of Bulldog Broadcast. I'm Suzy Theus. And I'm Ari Ramirez. Today we come to you from Old Mesilla, where each day the residents of the community indulge in the rich culture around us, whether it be coming together to enjoy food, history, or the sights. There's many reasons to come by and take in all the sights around. We have an intertwining show for you this week, dog, so let's get started, shall we? What did you do yesterday? Well, since yesterday was May the 4th, I stayed home all day and watched the Star Wars marathon. It was awesome. You skipped school to watch Star Wars. Susie, that's not really good for you. Why? Will I get in trouble? Let's cut to this liner and see if you and many other Bulldogs need to appeal this year. Do you need to appeal? If you have more than four absences in an AB class or eight absences in a block class, you need to appeal. Absences that are unexcused will not be counted. The only exception is a school-sponsored activity. Thanks, Audi. I guess I'll be safe this time. You're welcome, Susie. And students, please remember you must have a valid reason to miss school. If not, they won't be counted. Speaking of watching movies all day, have you noticed any movie trends? Yeah, big budgets and hits. Well, yes, but those big budgets aren't allowing casting directors to cast the appropriate race needed. Wow, I never really thought about that, Susie. So to elaborate more on the colored casting issue in Hollywood, it's Kyla. I should drop a mic like Obama. That's my intro. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of BBC Talks About Stuff. Today we'll be talking about racist Hollywood. You can't say that. Yes I can Stephanie. A very white Oscars has gone by and the topic of race in cinema seems to be fading away. Until early April when Paramount and DreamWorks released photos of Scarlett Johansson as the lead role in Ghost in a Shell as Motoko Kusanagi. At this point, I don't think the movie industry understands how much backlash they will receive if they don't hire actors who don't look like they're supposed to. I remember watching the first Hunger Games and everyone in Twitter was so angry that Rue was black even though in the book, she was described with dark hair and dark skin. Now, I've never seen the original animated movie, but I've heard good reviews about it. Now, to a degree, I do understand that big movie actors or actresses' names do rake in a lot of money for the box office. Yet, I think that an actor's name shouldn't be the deciding factor whether or not they should be in the film. The point of me ranting about this is because many white actors have played characters that are not their race before and they played them incredibly stereotypically or offensive because they were made to look someone else. Mickey Rooney in Breakfast at Tiffany's as Mr. Yunoshi, and many people are planning on boycotting Marvel's Doctor Strange because Tilda Swinton was casted as the Ancient One. And also on the news is that Michael Jackson will be played by a white British actor. In a diverse country like the US, the movie industry should be more diverse in their casting. It feels good to see someone from your culture, race, or nationality being represented as a hero or an overall great character in popular media. I'm quite passive about these things until I realize how much casting affects little kids or even us teens. Little kids and teens appreciate being represented in movies with people who look like them or have similar backgrounds. Do you think Hollywood's racist or do you think that they just fail to take up the opportunity to make the industry more diverse? Tell me what you think on Twitter at BBCLCHS. This has been Kala Navarro for BBC Talks About Stuff. Thanks Kyla for diving into that subject. Hey Susie, what are you going to do today? Well, since it's Cinco de Mayo, I'm going to have a huge party with lots of food. That's awesome! But did you know in America, not everyone's secured in their everyday lives? Yes, but some of our schools, clubs, and organizations are coming together to end hunger one can at a time. Also, we'll be collecting donations of canned food. To tell us more about the donations is Ms. Bustillo. The Roadrunner Food Bank is very, very, very low, and we haven't been getting what we had hoped to get. Participating teachers, not every teacher, but participating teachers, fifth period, are offering 
extra credit for cans. If you'd like to donate cans, drop them off in D219 or D217, or you can drop them off in the front office. Make sure you have those cans in by May 11th. Thank you to everyone who's looking out for the less fortunate. And remember, Bulldogs, a simple act of kindness can go a long way. I couldn't agree more. Speaking of which, I'm going to go donate something right now, but stay tuned as we take a quick break. Coming up after the break, Melissa and Stephanie show us students joining forces to figure out what's in the bucket. The brand gives us a last look at sports for this year. What if he attacks me? What if I can't get help in time? What if no one hears me? What if he knocks me out? Stop worrying about what ifs and take a course from Lost Goose's self-defense today. A black name resume is 50% less likely to get responded to than a white name resume. The Hispanic dropout rate is higher than any other race. African American women are three times more likely than white women to be incarcerated. There is a 32% chance I'll drop out of college. I will earn 63% as much as the average white worker. We will not let our ethnicity keep us from success. We will unite. Xi Jinping. Gold Medal Taekwondo, located on 519 East Bounce. Join today to move up in the ranks. Welcome back, dogs. Hey, Susie, close your eyes and stick your hand in this bucket. Why? Just do it. Audi, what's in the bucket? I can't tell you. You have to guess. No, what is in the bucket? Let's hand things over to Melissa and Stephanie to see people guess what's in the bucket. We challenge a few friends to see if they could guess what's in three buckets in less than a minute and 30 seconds. Let's see how they did. Stick my hand in a bucket of rice. It's funny, I wanted to see the way you would react. You know, we were supposed to figure that out together, right? Um, no, but I'll try to remember next time. Let's get back on track and throw things over to Brianne for our last installment of sports for this year. What's up, Bulldogs? I'm Brianne Woods, and you're watching Bulldog Sports. And to wrap up this last year's edition of Bulldog Sports, let's take a quick look at all the achievements and memories we have accomplished or made. Don't let them break your competed in another meet last weekend, April 30th, here at the Field of Dreams. 
The team came in sixth place overall, and their next meet will be for district on May 5th at the Field of Dreams. Go out and support our track team. Softball took on the Oñate Knights for their last round of district on Friday, April 29th at the Field of Dreams. The ladies battled all game long, but fell short with a score of 11 to five and eight to one. They will move on to the first round of state tomorrow night against the Mayfield Trojans at the Field of Dreams. Make sure you go out and support our dogs in the first round of state. Baseball hosted the Oñate Knights on Friday, April 29th at the Field of Dreams. The boys kept the Knights on their toes the whole game and reigned victorious the score of 12-11 and 16-4, making them district champs. The boys will head up to Sandia to play in their first round of state on Friday, May 5th. Good luck, boys! In the wake of Coach Miller's retirement, a familiar face fills a new role. Um, the, the main thing that changes is really just to, it comes from a different voice. You know, I'm, I have a little different personality, of course, than Coach. And uh, so, you know, there's going to be a different voice that, uh, that is speaking to the, to the guys, but uh, we're going to continue working the same things that we've been doing for a long time, and they've been successful, and so we're not looking to change a lot. Well, that's all I got for you this week, dogs. I'm Brianne Woods, and this has been Bulldog Sports. I'll see you next year, dogs. Thanks, Bree. Well, that's all. Audi, we can't sign things off yet. We have to let our seniors know that some of this school year's best memories are available to buy. Senior memory videos will be available to buy at graduation for $15 or pre-order today in V13 for $10. Let's take a sneak peek at what you'll be seeing. 2K16, we're about to graduate, start a new chapter. I had a lot of fun. Every day in this place has been a great memory for me and these memories are going to last a lifetime. Now can we finish this? Yes. Care to lead us in signing off, Audi? No, let's do it together, Susie. I'm Audi Ramirez. And I'm Susie Theus. We hope you have a great rest of the year and an awesome summer. We'll, we'll see, see you next year, Bulldogs. Bulldogs.